Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup, and I am at Microsoft Ignite. Whew. I was just at SQL Saturday, Atlanta BI. Now I'm at Ignite. There's a lot of great stuff that's going to happen this week. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what happened last week. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Eric Svensson's got a blog post talking about switching a data set for a given report. So in this case, we've got a report and we're switching it from one data set to another data set. And he walks through how you can do that fairly easily. It's a pretty cool technique. If you're not familiar with it, I highly recommend you check out this blog post. It may come in handy one day. Links as always down below. Ruth Pozuelo over at the Kerbal YouTube channel has got a video talking about how you can import data from PDF. This was a new item that came out in the recent release of Power BI Desktop. And this is a really cool way that you can get data if you've got items that are sitting inside of PDF files. She walks through how you can do this inside of Power BI Desktop. So if this is something you're interested in, definitely check this out. This may help you out in your business. Joseph Sorrenti over at Power Pivot Pro looks at how you can use DAX to handle multiple hierarchies, specifically multiple levels of hierarchies and those that are intermixed. The trick to doing this is using the path function inside of DAX. He does a great job of walking through this in this blog post, walks you through step by step, shows you how to do it, and then how to integrate that into your DAX measures, finishing it up with visuals inside of a Power BI report. So if you struggle with hierarchies or you want to learn a little bit more about it, definitely check out this blog post. Links as always down in the description below, along with links for everything else in this roundup and bonus items. Go check it out. All right, this is the big one. Marco Russo published an item out on SQLBI.com talking about why he built the DAX guide. And the DAX guide is really the big thing. So in the blog post, he talks about, you know, why they actually went down this road to do this, to make sure that it's available. It is a reference, not a, you know, tutorial or learning mechanism, but it's something that you can quickly go see which DAX functions are out there and how to use them. Basically, this is reference documentation for DAX. One of the cool things that's part of this DAX guide is the fact that there are certain tagging things. So if you want to look at specific functions for row context or filter context, you can do that and filter down into which functions apply to those items. So it's very cool reference. Definitely make sure you bookmark DAX.guide and use it when you're actually working with DAX. So definitely go down below in the description and check out the links. The September update of the on-premises data gateway is now available. So be sure to download an update to the latest version. Not much was in there in terms of release wise, but it does have the updated mashup engine. So I just wanted to call it out to make sure that you're running the latest gateway on all of the gateway instances in your gateway cluster. So be sure to update them all. All right, those were the items this last week. What was your favorite item? Go and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Or if there was an item that I missed that you thought was awesome, leave that down below as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.